Nice redfish in amongst. Mm. Is that a sponge or a, a, or a coral? Brown. Little groper. Oh, and some nice um, angelfish there, the giddy can. Mm -hmm. Little pygmy deep water angels. Um, nice to lie tail. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a lot more of these you know, encrusting, you know, um, hard corals coming in. Yeah, we're definitely into that, that range where we can still start getting because now just growing out flat, dead flat, you know, trying yeah. to maximise the amount of light that falls yeah. upon them. Um, you know, for the viewers at home, you could take these corals, move them up into shallow water and they could cha totally change how they grow where they could be getting too much light, like, you know, grow as a cabbage form or something like that. So, you know, the overall shape of a coral, um, it's very plastic. Oh, look at that, school of fish. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we came up over a ledge as well. Oh, big Eye Trevally. Yeah. As we came up over uh, 9,500 metres, we seem to flatten out on the top of this this terrace where we now have this oh, beautiful, beautiful deep water uh, reef system. Oh, look at them. So, yeah, Big Eye Trevally found all over. Mm. over the, oh, no, there's one big... Big orange valley in there. It's another valley. So the blue, blue fin. Uh, and the Americans call these jacks. Whereas in Australia, we call them trevally. Hmm. And then that's a bit of a mix of a school there. We haven't had enough time to work on those to see when and where. And they've been spotted throughout the year. Um, but yeah, we can see a bit of current sweeping by now. Hmm. A beautiful purple fish down deep there. More, more corals, more hard corals, platy lamina forms. I have some of the deep water antheus. Those butterfly fish then darted out. Oh, is that a barracuda? Well, it's a shark. shark. Yeah, there's a grey reefy. So the work we've done out here on the grey reefs in terms of the telemetry tracking show that they pretty well have a home range of staying on, on the reef. However, we did have one swim from Osprey to um, the ribbon reefs out of almost oh. 100 animals we'd tracked. Uh, so that was yeah, not the norm. Uh, most of them tend to really live in these nick trout. Um, and so, yeah, very, very much a home range shark as opposed to things like tigers, which we're actively tracking at the moment on our reeftracks.org side. If people want to see where all our different tigers are at the moment in the Great Barrier Reef and Coral Sea. Interesting that the stuff we did at Osprey and the manta ray showed the mantas actually went inside Osprey Reef at night time. And they were coming outside the reef onto the ledges during the day and um, often, you know, for cleaning. Is that stacks of halometa up behind? They lap each other and... Yeah, yeah. Very healthy live coral cover there. Actually, one coral I'm looking for are the, the big giant soft corals, the dendroneftias, which are either mm. bright... Deeper reef slope environments. And, and we... Oh, beautiful. I heard you guys explain before, but there's a thermal tolerance for uh, the ROV? Yeah, just um, the oil calling for, uh, for all the motors, the hydraulics. Uh, 
cooler water is uh, is quite a bit better at cooling it down, and we're getting to 26.6 ambient, so the water isn't cooling us down anymore. Right. 